IT Expo Miami 2009. Hi, it's Eric Linask coming at you from the show floor at IT Expo in Miami. I'm here with uh, InGate's president, Steve Johnson. Hi, Steve. Hi, Eric. How are you today? I'm doing great. Uh, it's been an exciting uh, two days so far. Um, what do you think? I think this is great. I think uh, this is a real indication that this is a strong industry. I see a lot of people here. I understand that the, the show attendance is up 30 percent. It just shows how SIP and SIP trunking can really benefit a company and uh, earn them a great return on investment. And we're really proud to be here. Yeah, and I think it's, it's a great sign that, uh, you know, that in this economy, um, you know, things are still moving along in our, in our industry. Absolutely. Um, but, uh, you know, you mentioned SIP trunking and, and, and SIP. Uh, I know one of the things that uh, happened again was your uh, SIP trunking workshop was, uh, I think, overflowing again. We like that. We had standing room only all day yesterday, and we had to reconfigure the room to let more people in. So we we're very, very happy about that. and. Uh, very pleased to be working with TMC and all the work you've done to help us promote it. And, and you know, I, I hear it from, from you guys. I hear it from a lot of the other people that I talk to, uh, whether it's webinars or, or phone calls or, or uh, what, what have you. Everybody's talking about SIP trunking. Yes, and I think the reason for that was outlined this morning in a, in a seminar that we had that explored the return on investment directly with SIP trunking. And one of our customers uh, outlined how they had gone through the process of selecting SIP trunking and what they had to do in their network to make it uh, work beneficially for them. They spent uh, nearly $400,000 on new equipment. They centralized their trunks into one location instead of about 40. And they were able to save a 40, whopping 40% 40 of their phone bill uh, right from the start when they started up SIP trunking about a year ago. And they were able to recover that investment in less than 12 months. And they're extremely happy, all, uh, all together with the cost, obviously, which is, uh, was a real driving factor, but also with the quality of what they get and, and all of the other attributes of SIP trunking that go well beyond what you could get with a plain old telephony system. You mentioned the ROI. Obviously, there's, there's a very quick ROI when it comes to the, uh, the enterprise or the, or the uh, you know the business uh, business user. Uh, but you've got a little you've got uh, something uh, different going on with the carrier focus uh, on your end now too. Yes, we are. We uh, we now know that there are numbers of carriers that go from the regional Bell operating companies, the traditional Verizon, AT and T, uh, Quest type of firms. Uh, into the, the, the Lex and the CLEX and the cable companies and the internet telephony service providers, they're all now into this space. And we are talking with many, many of them. Our product, the Ingate product, offers them a real strong value proposition. Not only does it solve the natraversal issues and normalize the SIP traffic, giving them even more opportunity in the market, but it also becomes a demarcation point for them and a place where they can actually see the traffic, they can diagnose problems, and they can make corrections where they is appropriate. So we're, we're seeing a great deal of in, new interest from the carrier side and a continued strong interest from our PBX vendor side and, and end customers as well. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say that um, traditionally that hasn't been something that the, uh, that the carriers have uh, necessarily wanted to get into. That's true. But now people in the carrier space are seeing that they need to have a demarcation point at the edge of their customer network. For security, for the points that I mentioned for demarcation, we heard from one of the carriers this morning that they used the in-gate to really thoroughly diagnose a problem that was reported to them overnight and the customer was blaming all sorts of things. And they were able to demonstrate that the customer had made a significant change in their network during the day or night yesterday all because they had the in-gate there to make that diagnosis. So customers of the, in the carrier space are looking for that kind of edge device, and uh, we, I think, bring a very powerful device to that market. Uh, that's good to hear. Uh, and I know one of the, one of the other things that uh, you're doing with us in addition to um, everything at the show is that you've actually got a SIP trunking community that you're sponsoring on uh, TMCNet. How's, how's that going for you? That's going really well. I don't know the number of hits uh, off the top of my head, but we get a lot of hits from that. We get a lot of leads from that. 
Uh, we try to make that a very instructive, informative way for people to know what's going on in SIP trunking as an extension of what we do here live in the seminars. In the upcoming months, I would ask uh, your audience to look for new things on the SIP trunking community. We have been videotaping the sessions uh, the last couple of days, and we expect to post those on the community at some point in the next week or so. And we're also going to videotape some new uh, activities that we're doing and some bite-sized understanding chunks, uh, knowledge base that we've been creating around SIP and SIP trunking. And we're hoping to, in March or April, get that up onto the community as well as another resource for people to turn to who are looking to get more familiar with what we're really talking about and not have to drink from a fire hose. Well, that's, that's fantastic. And I know that uh, all the content that gets up there on the, uh, on the community is... Uh, uh, a valuable resource for your existing customers and, uh, and potential customers. It is. Uh, we've been talking here at IT Expo with uh, Ingates President Steve Johnson. Thanks for joining us again, Steve. Thank you, Eric. It's nice. My pleasure.